comparing fractions children in the previous classes we have read a lot about fractions you have read about equivalent fractions lowest term of fractions addition and subtraction of fractions etc let us extend further the knowledge of fractions we start with comparing fractions observe these figures in the first figure 4 by 9 part is shaded and in second figure 7 by 9 part is shaded clearly the shaded part in first figure is smaller than that in the second figure here 4 upon 9 is less than 7 upon 9 or 7 upon 9 is greater than 4 upon 9 so we can say that between two fractions having the same denominator the fraction with the greater numerator is greater now observe these two strips of the same length first strip is divided into five equal parts and the second strip is divided into seven equal parts in both strips three parts are shaded clearly the shaded region in the first strip is more than that in the second strip thus 3 upon 5 is greater than 3 upon 7 or 3 upon 7 is less than 3 upon 5 so we can say between two fractions having the same numerator the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater than the other let us now compare fractions with unlike numerator and unlike denominators to compare two fractions having unlike numerator and unlike denominators we change them into like fractions for this we find the lcm of the denominators and convert the fractions as equivalent fractions with the same denominator and then compare the numerators let us compare 1 upon 5 and 3 upon 4 first we take the lcm of 5 and 4 which is 20 now changing the given fractions into their equivalent fractions with denominator as 20 we get now compare 4 upon 20 and 15 upon 20 here 4 is less than 15 so 4 upon 20 is less than 15 upon 20 hence 1 upon 5 is less than 3 upon 4 two fractions can also be compared by using the method of cross multiplication Let us compare 3 upon 11 and 5 upon 7. Now 3 into 7 is equal to 21 and 11 into 5 is equal to 55. Since 21 is less than 55, hence 3 upon 11 is less than 5 upon 7 or 5 upon 7 is greater than 3 upon 11. In this method we cross multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction and then the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction the side with the greater product is the greater fraction 